G'day guys, Meat and Potato here. Uh, I just thought I'd run you through an another build that we've been doing at the moment, which is the Speed Swordsman. And there you go, that's how it's used. You just run around, try and get in on the action. And uh, yeah, you can even run around the back and try and pick off some archers like this guy here. But and then get in and out. Try and get in and out. <laughs> in and out. You do not want to get in there for too long because you will come off second best. So we think we can take this guy. Oh, that was rubbish. Get in there. I just copped a hit straight away. So as you can see, this guy is using a two-handed sword, the lightest of the light armors you can possibly have. And that's all you do. You just come in, help him out. You can take clothies out, no problems. And sometimes plate if they don't put their visor down. Oh, God. Thank <laughs> God. So we're aiming to take out cloth and mail wearers um, because they are your main oh I even got that guy too um, they're your main targets I mean they're the easiest ones to take down with this build I mean every build has its strengths and weaknesses except for a polex build there's pretty much no weaknesses to that and people always say getting close to them does not make a difference oh don't <sighs> See, so that's it. If you run in and you miss, the thing is with a pole arm, you could just get one shot killed. So you've just got to be so careful with them because the pole axe is so broken at the moment. You just, it's not even worth talking about, to be honest. But, um, you know, maybe we can go up and try and get these, these crossbowmen up here. Our team's doing pretty well at the moment 17 and 7. Let's see whether that lasts. And, I mean, there you go. I didn't get the kill, but by the. Whoa, nearly killed my teammate, that was no good. Um, but again, because you'll be alive a fair bit of the time, um, because of your in and out tactics, um, you'll see me bandaging here after not even taking a hit, but that's because when you take, uh, when you hit your teammates, you actually take a lot of damage. Um, so, you've always got to bandage in these scenarios. I don't know why we're pushing up this far in this spawn, but yeah, it's a bit of fun. And I'm trying to stay in the action so it's not so boring. Now this guy, this is our perfect target. There we go, we made him bleed. Even again, we didn't get the kill, but we, uh, there we go, we got the kill on that guy instead. So, which you're just so quick and so agile that it's in and out, in and out, in and out. You're definitely not, you're not designed, whoa, you're not designed to take on multiple people at once. Although, because with the Toledo Steel Sword, you can actually do a fair bit of damage to multiple enemies. See if we can get up in around here. Sorry if my camera's moving too quick for people. It sometimes even moves too quick for myself to pick up what the hell's going on. Let's see if I can get around here and take out some archers because this guy is an archer hunter. So there we go. There we go. Could have done that the first hit. That would have been nice. Oh god, I've just that was ridiculous. I do. <laughs> there's, there's the problem with this build. <laughs> I, was, I thought there was an enemy, uh, a teammate on the ground, so I was trying to res. Oh, well, bit of fun. But anyway, guys, look, I might. S no, I won't speed this up. I mean, this just shows I'm the team leader, so you can see I've got the march speed bonus. Um, at the moment, my team is not that flash. Jeez, I thought I'd be doing better than that. Well, he's only on 2 and 2 and he's beating me. Not that I really care. This is not always a top scoring uh, not always a top scoring build, but it's a really, really, really good teammate build, so. Um, Alright. 
fingers crossed this all is recording properly because uh, I had a few issues with my computer. I feel like I had a virus on it. So anyway, guys, look. By the way, um, I've now got um, a couple of hundred subscribers on YouTube. Look, I'd just like to say thanks so much for your support. Um, not that this is my full-time. Wow. Uh, not that this is my full-time job. Um, just wow, where were my sunglasses? I had to put on after that kill. Um, however, ooh, um, oh, <laughs> oh my god, bloody pole axes! <laughs> They're so broken. They can hit you in the chest and one shot kill you. It's just ridiculous. Um, anyway, that's why we don't even talk about using the leader. <laughs> so that was just the most boring two minutes watching me respawn. Um, Jesus, where did they all come from? Now this is the best... Okay, this is going to show you a little bit about this build, hopefully. Your ability to get in and out. Like, I mean, I was surrounded there, and here they all come. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, arches. Pew, 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 pew. Did I get teams? No, I didn't get team swapped. I thought I was on the same team as Killmore. Anyway. I got him. Now, I'm not going to bandage here because I feel like I'm going to get rolled. Oh, come on. Um. Yeah, as I was saying, guys, we're going to have a bit more content on DayZ again. I know to you guys, you've seen no gap in the in the actual gameplay. Um, but I've actually had a... V oh, did I get hit by... I did! Jerk bag. Um, we've had a fair game, fair fair break in the uh, gameplay. I mean, I've, I've played as little as... Um, there we go. Um, I've had a little as, um, oh sorry, uh, you know, probably as little as one to two hours in the last fortnight of DayZ, just because there's been a couple of, um, couple of things going on that prevent me from playing games for, uh, for hours and hours on end. I've had a few things going on, had my house renovated, you might see some junk behind me over here, um, my clothes and whatnot, because we're pretty much living out of one room out of about six, um, so, yeah, we can't really do much about that, but... Oh, don't hit me in the head, teammate. Oh my god! <laughs> 